Well, friends, I have waited until Tuesday before Thanksgiving to actually do my Thanksgiving shopping. Not on purpose. Erin and I actually went all the way to Anchorage to go to Costco, not realizing on Saturday that Costco closes at 7 p.m. on a Saturday. And we were having a whole date day and doing some other things. And by the time we looked down at 6.30, no way we could do a Costco run in 30 minutes. So we moved on with our life. Then a storm came into um, this area of Alaska. We had a big family dinner. On and on life carries along. And so here I am Tuesday, two days before Thanksgiving. It is a complete madhouse and I'm going to try and do groceries. Let's see what, well, let's see. Let's just see how today ends up. It is a complete madhouse in here. No big deal. We have a very detailed list and we brought our patients. That would be the biggest piece of advice. Take some patience with you and don't be rude and push everyone around to get your own way. Cheese. All right, I just got home. Anyone else's kitchen looked like this two days before Thanksgiving? Wyatt, I don't do well on icy stairs. We did put some ice melts on him, but the temperatures are really low. So my beautiful son is bringing in all of the groceries for mom. I canned all of this turkey bone broth last night. Remnants of breakfast last night's dinner it's nice and cold we're gonna eat that again tonight canners i have to clean up i'm just showing you my no shame kitchen in the middle of my grocery haul getting some things prepped for thanksgiving i got a giant pan to wash here dishes to do but look at that do, do, do spin your own. hot fire it is so nice and toasty in the house and the hat will remain on. I get questions about that. Is it really that cold in your house? No, this is my hair when I take off. <laughs> Once the stocking caps go on up here, they stay on. All right, how many more bags? Huh? That's it. That's it? Perfect. All right, if you'll take out the trash. And put those in the back of the truck. Oh, have dad drop. <laughs> Thank God for teenage help. Everyone say hi, Wyatt. Uh, hey, hello, hello. All right, I'm gonna get some things cleaned up and then I'll show you what all we got and what our plan is for Thanksgiving meal. All right, it's all here. I got all of my canners washed up. Wyatt put everything away for me. I just finished scrubbing all of those canned jars of turkey bone broth that is fantastic and that is going to take it to where i can actually um pardon okay real life around here with a puppy so here's what we got and i'm going to kind of give you a rundown of what i'm thinking that we're going to do with them okay so let's just start with dairy i get all these little cheeses from the cheese section and i try to keep them around five or six dollars so back at it, our puppy has a ball and he's very excited about it. So finishing the dairy, here we go. Uh, lots of cream cheese. This lasts for super long in the fridge. So I did a big order of that, a little bit of sour cream, heavy cream. So we can make for the pies and heavy whipping cream. And then some half and half. I like to use that sometimes on the mashed potatoes or whatever. We're gonna do a cheese and fruit tray you'll see the fruit in a second and then we have some classic and old-fashioned eggnog here i personally hate eggnog if you are an eggnog fan give me a thumbs up right now if you hate it like me let me know that but aaron and the kids go through this like crazy 
They love all the brands. They love eggnog. And then my mother-in-law told me I should make some homemade with our fresh eggs. And I may experiment with that. But who's going to taste test for me? Who knows? All right, let's move on. Produce. All right, some of the classics here. Green beans for green bean casserole. Cranberries for fresh cranberry sauce. Tomatoes. Pears. These are super ripe. Bartlett pears. They looked fantastic. We are going to do a tart type of thing with them with the puff pastry over here. And then also use them as the salad course. And then, of course, some regulars. I grew a year's worth of um, celery, but I do like to grab some for fresh eating because I've processed all of my garden fresh celery. Some carrots. We're thinking glazed carrots. Let me know if you do anything like that for Christmas or Christmas. Jeez, what holiday are you doing? Thanksgiving dinner. Glazed carrots. Of course, just some shallots. We have jalapenos here. Fresh herbs. My herbs all died. <laughs> I brought them inside and they died. Anyway, so I grabbed some basil, Alaskan grown, sage. These are some organic roasting herbs. So there's kind of like a combination in there. Some fresh thyme. We have rosemary. And then for the salad course, we're going to do arugula. We got some pomegranates. Oh, I finally found some fresh garlic, guys. That has been treacherous up here in Alaska lately. I've not been able to get real fresh garlic. Let's hope and pray everything we planted in that garden is going to survive and we will have our own homegrown garlic next year. Fingers crossed. Hopes and dreams, right? Some white onion. And then some button mushrooms for the green bean casserole. Some oranges, limes, lemons, the sweet potatoes. We do sweet potatoes as a casserole. Um, it's my grandma's recipe. We've used it for years and years. And depending on the family members, some love it, some hate it. But my children personally and my husband love it. So we're gonna do a sweet potato casserole. Okay, who knows? Who knows why? Da, 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 da. I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> I hate giving away my pie pants. I hate... <sighs> I think that's such a strong word. Okay, I don't like to send my pie pants out of the house. And I have a ton of them. And they're not even expensive. They're the Pyrex deep dish pie pants. They just never come back. And they don't come back in time. And then we have this tradition where everyone gets their own pie and then when i was able to find the pumpkins over there we'll get to i thought you know i'm going to make a fresh pumpkin pie for all my neighbors as well send that out and i don't want them to worry about bringing me the dish back i don't want to add any stress onto anyone over the holidays and i don't want to hand out my pies so my favorite store-bought pie crusts are these marie calendars there's two pie crusts in here and Three Bears, the local Alaska grocery store, has them. And so we are going to do a couple of giveaway pies. Caleb's going to take a few. And then I might send one to work with Aaron as well for uh, the office lady at work. So let's continue on with our massive shopping haul. I didn't get the asparagus, but Cody requested some bacon so we have that here so she wants to wrap some asparagus with bacon and those uh we'll get over to them this is just because my husband's obsessed with tortillas and i just need a few because of leftovers when we get to the leftovers you see an abundance here you think five six people for dinner stuff for neighbors so on this is a ton of food but what we like to do is eat it for the whole weekend after the whole thing and we like most of the food to be like finger food or easy things to grab out so the cheese trays the deli the fruits and vegetables all of those wonderful things so that's kind of what you're seeing here and then certain things are really hard to find up here as well so when I do find them 
I just, I grab them, I throw them in the cart, even if they're not on the list. And we do a similar meal for Christmas and New Year's, so on. So I grab additional. So let's look at what we got here. Oh, I had been out of this all week. This is the tomato bouillon. Aaron's favorites are sweet cherry peppers. So there's three jars of them. Those will keep um, some in the pantry. And then some pepperoncinis, some hot chili peppers, some spicy, spicy pickles. And then any of the extras, like I said, these will go in the pantry. Um, the mayonnaise had a cell on it, so I thought I would grab some. I didn't necessarily need that for anything in particular. The maraschino cherries are for my grandmother's um, jello salad recipe. I make that every other year or so, but this year we're making it. And then we needed a little bit of Dijon mustard. Those are not typical things that I keep in my pantry. Um, so I get onesies and twosies as we need them. All right, back to the table. Did we say apples? We don't need them for a recipe. They were on a good sell. Fresh produce is wonderful. The puff pastry, two uses for this. Either Cody is going to use the puff pastry for the asparagus. And then the thing I was telling you, um, maybe I wasn't. But this is one of the things the pears go on. Or Cody needs crescent rolls for the asparagus. I don't actually know. Marshmallows. Marshmallows for the sweet potato casserole. I bought eggs. The chickens are laying eggs still. Let me show you what we've gotten this week. Minus Wyatt's been eating three for breakfast. I eat them. These were pulling in. And then sometimes they freeze. <laughs> Those become dog treats. So on and so forth. And then this sounds terrible. I don't want to make a bunch of um, deviled eggs out of my good farm fresh eggs. I don't know why. So I went ahead and grabbed some eggs. We have a ton stored up as well for winter time because they are slowing down so far. But I thought if I'm gonna do a bunch of eggs for like deviled eggs or whatever, I want my farm fresh ones for the pies and those things. And then I have uh, these here for deviled eggs because Erin specifically requested deviled eggs. I didn't get the asparagus, but Cody requested some bacon. So we have that here. So she wants to wrap some asparagus with bacon and those. Uh, we'll get over to them. This is just because my husband's obsessed with tortillas and I just need a few because of leftovers. When we get to the leftovers, you see an abundance here. You think five, six people for dinner stuff for neighbors, so on. This is a ton of food. But what we like to do is eat it for the whole weekend after the whole thing. And we like most of the food to be like finger food or easy things to grab out. So the cheese trays, the deli, the fruits and vegetables, all of those wonderful things. So that's kind of what you're seeing here. And then certain things are really hard to find up here as well. So when I do find them, I just, I grab them. I throw them in the cart, even if they're not on the list. And we do a similar meal for Christmas and New Year's, so on. So I grab additional. So let's look at what we got here. Oh, I had been out of this all week. This is the tomato bouillon. Aaron's favorites are sweet cherry peppers. So there's three jars of them. Those will keep um, some in the pantry. And then some pepperoncinis some hot chili peppers some spicy spicy pickles and then any of the extras like i said these will go in the pantry um the mayonnaise had a cell on it so i thought i would grab some i didn't necessarily need that for anything in particular the maraschino cherries are for my grandmother's um jello salad recipe i make that every other year or so but this year we're making it and then we needed a little bit of Dijon mustard. Those are not typical things that I keep in my pantry. Um, so I get onesies and twosies as we need them. All right, back to the table. Did we say apples? 
we don't need them for a recipe. They were on a good sell. Fresh produce is wonderful. The puff pastry, two uses for this. Either Cody is going to use the puff pastry for the asparagus. And then the thing I was telling you, um, maybe I wasn't, but this is one of the things the pears go on. Or Cody needs crescent rolls for the asparagus. I don't actually know. Marshmallows, marshmallows for the sweet potato casserole. I bought eggs. The chickens are laying eggs still. Let me show you what we've gotten this week. Minus Wyatt's been eating three for breakfast. I eat them. These were pulling in. And then sometimes they freeze. <laughs> Those become dog treats. So on and so forth. And then this sounds terrible. I don't want to make a bunch of um, deviled eggs out of my good farm fresh eggs. I don't know why. So I went ahead and grabbed some eggs. We have a ton stored up as well for winter time because they are slowing down so far. But I thought if I'm gonna do a bunch of eggs for like deviled eggs or whatever, I want my farm fresh ones for the pies and those things. And then I have uh, these here for deviled eggs because Erin specifically requested deviled eggs. Take some help from the store when you can. No shame in my game. These were on sale. So the crackers will go with the cheese and the pickles and the fruits and so on. And then I thought these looked good. These were in the deli section. These little toasts were cute. Cody is making a cookie, so she specifically asked me to get macadamia nuts. That is not a nut that I stockpile because it's so stinking expensive. That's the only reason I don't. It's just a lot of money to have a big stock of those. So we only buy them when we need them. Okay, our, pr our protein, our main courses. We're going to smoke a ham with some cherry jelly on it and the turkey breast so we did breast only which is why with the free turkey i canned some turkey bone broth now i have to let the puppy in hello the world of recording <laughs> it is real if it is anything it is real around here finishing our haul let's see if we can okay so some twine in case Aaron needed to tie anything up I went and took some help from the deli section and got the pretzels because I think these would be good warmed up and kind of chopped up because there's some kind of cheeses that are melty and I thought they would be good for dipping in that. The take and bake bread, even though we're going to make our own homemade bread, these are wonderful for all of the uh, courses. And then the thing, the puff pastry that is going to get brie and pears is also gonna get, okay, so call for pancetta, but not pancetta, maybe pancetta. What is this similar to? Anyway, <laughs> so this is like a thinly sliced um, ham almost, but this one, instead of it being like the really light color, this one has been, it has spices and it smokes. So it's a little more along the lines of bacon than the Italian version, or maybe that is an Italian thing. I don't really know, but I wanted that extra bit of flavor on that dish. So I'll let you know how that turns out. I got caught up in the fresh fruit because on Sunday, we ate this amount of strawberries. Um, I had just put it on the dessert. And then the kids like walked into the kitchen and were like, I finally said to Cody, just get all of them out. She did. They were gone by the end of dessert time because this time of year, we really, really crave those fresh things. So we went blackberries, raspberries, strawberries, and kiwi pineapple and that will be kind of our fresh fruits and then i got four baking pumpkins these good sugar pumpkins and we are going to make pumpkin pie from the actual pumpkin and that's what we're going to share and send around and that's what those pie crusts are for so now <laughs> it is five o'clock 
I have to leave here in 30 minutes to go pick up an Azure order I totally forgot about. So I have just enough time to get this shopping haul put away. Why it's gonna jump back in here and help me just off camera. And I have coolers that go on the, the porch. So our porch has turned into a giant ice chest and load up the fridge. Oh, wish me luck. If you enjoyed this video, hit me with a thumbs up. Give me a comment. If you're not part of the channel yet, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Ring the bell, you'll get notifications. We have so much going on on our Alaska homestead. We keep you in the know of every bit of anything Alaska, shopping, family, homesteading wise. I hope you enjoy the channel and I look forward to seeing you in the next video, but I do wanna wish a very happy Thanksgiving. I hope that you guys get some time to relax, enjoy one another, enjoy the season, find something to be grateful for. I am certainly grateful for this channel and each and every one of you that tune in over and over and over. And I can't thank you enough for that. So thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of everything we do. I will see you in the next video. Be blessed.